So you've got uh, a battle. So you're facing some sort of obstacle um, that you're going to have to stand up for yourself. And you're obviously going to have to use all your weapons um, available to you in order to um, conquer the situation. And you have to have a lot of faith that you are going to succeed in it. You've got the faith card over here and it's the candle burning. And uh, you will find the answer to this. You will find the solution to this problem. But you need to stand up for yourself and have faith that you can overcome the situation. So in the past, you've got a master and a brown-haired man. So you might have been dealing with somebody who is much older than you, uh, with this, uh, or not older, um, a brown-haired man, rather, who's been presenting some sort of obstacle for you to move for forward. You can see he's standing in front of the door and not allowing you through. So they might have presented some kind of obstacle. This person might be an expert in what they're doing, so you might be dealing with somebody in authority or somebody that you're working with. On the other hand, you could have been taking, getting some sort of expert advice on how to deal with this person um, from the master um, and um, in order for the, you to overcome this obstacle that they're presenting. They're, 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 they're putting some sort of challenge to you. This is why you're standing up to fight or defend yourself. So they're creating some sort of problem for you. So going into the future, you've got a sexual attraction and a storm. So there might be somebody uh, that you're... Um, very, very attracted to. Maybe you started going out with somebody or dating somebody. Uh, there is some kind of chaos involved around that situation. Maybe things are not as smooth sailing. Uh, you've got the storm card, so things are being stirred up. Energies are being stirred up here with the storm card. So there could be uh, something coming in, some situation coming in that causes you to feel very uncomfortable or maybe they could be maybe arguments. This card could also signify some very important news coming in uh, that causes a big disruption in your life. So that could well be coming in for that week. Okay, so the situation uh, you're being faced with, the Three of Wands, you've got some project that you want to launch. Maybe you haven't decided how you're going to possibly do that. Um, so you're a bit stuck at the moment. Uh, it seems like people are prodding you to move forward, to go for it. Uh, but you feel, maybe you're feeling a bit negative about it because there's a lot of clouds over here and this person's just really standing uh, and looking out. So it could be well that you have a project that you've decided, some plans that you've put into place, um, but you're not moving fast enough. Um, you know, you, uh, you've you got one angel, uh, you know, almost holding the, um, the rod across this person's chest. So maybe your fear is holding you back, preventing you from going forth. And there are people around you that are trying to prod you to move forward. So you are being um, asked to move forward. You you should be moving forward. Uh, these plans are, <coughs> excuse me, pretty good. Uh, but it seems like maybe your fear is holding you back. Uh, you know, you reached a point where you can't go any further. This person's at the edge of this cliff over here. So you are at a point where you have to make a decision and move forward. Uh, and you have to stop letting the negative thoughts that are going through your head stop you from, from launching this particular idea or doing this particular work or finishing this particular project. Something is holding you back. You are procrastinating a bit. Um, maybe it's your fear that's holding you back uh, or your negative thoughts. So you actually need to move forward. Uh, so you need to cut out that negativity and move forward and launch that particular project or that particular thing that you want to do. So you've got the um, Five of Swords over here and it's crossed by the Six of Cups. So with the Five of Swords, you know, um, maybe you feel that you have been defeated in a situation. On the other hand, it could be you that has been, you know, winning battles uh, and having to fight your way through a, a lot of difficult situations. The Five of Swords is generally a victory card for the other party. Uh, so somebody else being victorious over you, taken all your things, <coughs> you know, destroyed most of your life, really, with the Five of Swords. And they've had a lot of nasty things to say as well. So it was a very vindictive behavior. And this particular victory, uh, you know, they lord it over you. So, you know, it seems like you've been through a very difficult situation, some big crisis that came in and has been caused by somebody that was not acting uh, very fairly and they were ve not very nice about the whole thing it could have been somebody from your childhood so it could be a family matter that is going on so there could be a lot of chaos going on within the family and um uh, this person within your family has caused this particular problem and you know they are uh, they feel they are victorious and they feel that they were in the right and you were in the wrong or the rest of you were in the wrong and uh, you know they're now um gloating over their victory. So it looks like there might have been some sort of big family issue that happened recently. 
So you've got the Ace of Cups uh, in the last year. So some brand new uh, idea has come in. Uh, maybe a new relationship has come in. Uh, you know, something that has been uh, made you feel very happy because it's changed the way you think about a lot of things uh, with this Ace of Cups. There's a lot of peace and tranquility that has been brought in with this Ace of Cups as well because you've got the Dove coming in over here. And, um, you know, you're... Uh, you're you're pretty much uh, being in tune with your spirituality as well. So a lot of peace, happiness coming in. Uh, maybe somebody's brought in an apology saying that they're sorry and, you know, it's restored peace. But in the last uh, three months, you've got the Nine of Wands. So, you know, um, something has gone, um, some event has happened. You can see this house is burnt down and this person is watching this house. You know, it's all up in smoke. Only these pillars are left standing over here. So it seems like there was some kind of event that has happened. Um, this could be, you know, in your work life. Maybe there was um, uh, something uh, that was very destructive that happened. Usually the Nine of Wands is the card of being very vigilant or, you know, watching out for dangers or problems that happen. But it looks like in this card, something has happened that has caused very, very great destruction. Uh, almost like a tower card, really. And, uh, you know, has left everything in, in shambles, really. And you're standing there watching it, uh, not really knowing what to do. Because, you know, you had a clear idea about what you do, what you wanted to do. You've got this pathway over here. But it seems now with this big destruction in your pathway, um, you know, you have, uh, you are now unsure about how to proceed, where to go next. Because you can see this destructed, this house that's been destructed or, um, burnt down is standing within your pathway. So it is something uh, that has now stopped you in your tracks and you really don't know what to do. Um, you've got the Seven of Swords over here. So it seems like, you know, whatever this event was that happened, you've now just decided to take your things and move off. So you, it seems like you're walking away from that situation with everything uh, that you, you have acquired, all your own things. So whatever what destruction happened, you have just need to really... You've just had to pack up and leave, it seems, with the Seven of Swords. Um, and, uh, you know, there doesn't seem to be any support for you. You're walking off uh, alone. And this is what you want. Maybe this is what you want to do now. Whatever this destruction happened, uh, you want to just take your things and go. You, you don't want to have anything more to do with that situation. So going into the future, you've got the Empress card. So they're coming on top of uh, the situation. So the Empress is the Queen of Queens of the Tarot car, um, decks and she is um, somebody who uh, is very much in charge of, of things. So she's a very nurturing person. Uh, this could well be you or it could be somebody that is helping you get through the situation. But also with the Temperance, uh, with the Empress card, it's ruled by Venus. So uh, you will acquire um, everything that you have lost. Uh, everything is not lost to you. Uh, you will rise again to the top. Uh, with this Empress card, you will be victorious in whatever you do. And you need to take control, though, uh, and uh, make sure that you are in charge of that situation. So you have to rise above it and, you know, you will get everything that you have lost back. You will be able to uh, overcome the situation. So what's happening with you? You've got the Ten of Pentacles. So this tells me that this is probably a family situation that has been happening over here um, because the Ten of Pentacles is generally a family card and it seems like there might have been somebody within the family who is a bit of a bully uh, that has caused a lot of problems and has brought an end to that particular family situation uh, because the Ten of, of Pentacles is generally um, the end of a cycle. And with a, it being a family card, it seems like there's been a lot of problems within that family. And now maybe you have severed relationships with members of your family. And you've got the death card. So something did happen. There was a big crisis and it seems like you've had to move away from it with this death card. You're, you're flying off in, on this horse. You know, you said you spoke your truth and now you're moving away from it. So it looks like there was some sort of uh, breakdown of communications within the family in itself. And you've decided to cut ties with these people. And you've decided to move off and, you know, maybe pursue your own uh, life rather than being involved with them. So some sort of big family crisis happening and a lot of problems there. And when you've got the six of wands over here, uh, you know, moving away. Uh, you want to move away from that situation. It was a very burdensome situation and you're hoping to be uh, rid of it, really, and to just walk away from it. That is what's on your hopes and fears. So going into the future, you've got uh, the queen of cups. Uh, the Five of Swords, and uh, you've got uh, the Strength card. So you, you are very, very depressed about what happened with this Queen of Cups. Um, 
she's looking at this empty cup really and you know you are feeling um like you were let down betrayed and you're very upset about it, it whoever you were dealing with may have been somebody maternal and um you know because the queen of cups is generally a very maternal uh, person it could have been a water sign person so you could have been doing, dealing with a cancer uh, scorpio or pisces person and um, you know, they have really uh, upset you and also have brought, uh, you know, you feel like, um, you know, they weren't there for you or you weren't supported by them. So you are feeling really, really down, really depressed by it. You can see very, very heartbroken as well. There seems to be a breakdown of communication with this person as well. So maybe you're not in contact with this person anymore either with this Queen of Cups. Uh, and they might have you know this card also says there could be a third party a three party situation. So it seems like everybody was uh saying things to draw blood it seems like you know they they were saying things to hurt and you are the one that got the brunt end of it and this has left you very very heartbroken uh and you do need to um overcome the situation you will overcome it you need to just muster all your strength dig deep inside and you know uh try uh, to um, understand that, you know, everything happens for a reason. And, um, you know, maybe these people were not serving you. Maybe whatever um, ties that you had with your family were really not that good. Uh, you know, if they could come in and, you know, bully you and take things from you, uh, they were not people worth knowing, really. So it seems like, you know, um, it looks like they may have been, uh, there are six cups here, uh, so they could have been six people that you were involved in. It, it might have been a dispute over a home, a house, you can see there's a home in the background over there. Um, so whatever's happened, there's been a lot of problems, a lot of arguments, a lot of heartbreak, and you are very depressed about it. But you will rise above it. You will, <coughs> excuse me, you will conquer the situation. You just need to be, um, you know, very strong in what you do and be very bold in what you do and stand up for yourself. And don't let anybody to walk all over you. This is uh, very important that you don't let anybody walk all over you. So stand up for what you believe in. And it looks like you are going to walk away from it. With the death card running, the horse moving away from it, you will move away from that situation and you will move into something more positive. You've got the Empress card over here, so something everything will work out in the end. And you've got the Nine of Water over here, which says a wish come true. Um, concerns fade away, a love of life. So uh, you're getting what you want. You will overcome the situation emotionally. You will uh, achieve uh, that balance and that harmony. And you've got the nine of fire. So ends of cycles. These are cards towards the end of the cycle. Don't give up. Protect uh, that which you have created. Have courage and believe in yourself. So this is standing up for yourself with this nine of uh, fire over here. You need to stand up for your yourself and you know with the nine of wands there's a very difficult situation that is coming to an end because it ends with the ten of wands where that difficult situation is goes and so you will um, end up moving towards that phase where you end all these uh, problems that you're going through maybe it's just a little more uh, to endure and then things will come all that cycle ends the nine of a fire to stand up for yourself watch out watch your back make sure that you're protecting yourself uh, don't let anybody walk all over you uh, with this nine of fire and the last one is the magician and you are ready you have all the resources and the ability to manifest life is magical so you will be able to overcome the situation and whatever you do uh, whatever problems you are facing you will come up with the solutions and you will be able to put them into place the magician is a manifestation card so whatever you have whatever wishes you have with this nine of water you can make it happen with the magician card so that's what you need to do you need to make a wish decide what you want to do and go for it and do it and it will work out